You are watching the New American Media. You are listening to the Agree to Disagree program on the New American Media.com. Hello, everybody out there listening live. Thank you very much for joining us today. We are talking about December 21st, 2012, the Mayan calendar, and more with Dr. Jose Jaramillo. If you are listening to this after the fact, you're likely watching it either on the newamericanmedia.com or on our YouTube page. So if you're on YouTube, please click subscribe so you get our new episodes as they come out. And we want to thank our sponsor for this segment. It is Three Black Cats. They do organic lotions and body butters and lip balms and other healing products and ointments they also do really cool earrings and hair accessories it's perfect for any girl in your life the girlfriend you want the girlfriend you have the wife you want to keep the mother grandmother you just don't know what to get just buy a few things online help support one of our um, one of our sponsors for this program that helps us put it all together just get a whole get a few things put it in a box and when that anniversary comes up when that birthday comes up when you need to give a gift you have a few cool things sitting around so back with Dr. Jose Jaramillo we kind of left off right there um, we got a question on Twitter from Sam J. DeMeo asking that he thought he thought that the Mayan calendar was 10 months now, you were talking about the gestational period of 260 days. Is he correct saying that this is split up into 10 months for the 260 days? No, uh, you know, the Mayans, they were using cycles of, just like we, we use the decimal cycle, the Mayans use the vigesimal cycle. So I will, I will tell you... Uh, uh, you're listening that uh, your listener that uh, he's wrong because you know of course the Mayans they follow many many different calendars 17 of all together but the most important calendar of all you know the three most important calendar was the first one the Ha'ab calendar which was made of 18 months made of 20 days in one extra month the, nine, the month number 19 that they call it the Wayed that was the only month made of five days you know for the 365 solar lunar calendar and, and uh, so basically we're 18 months of 20 days plus the last month of five days also there was the long count calendar that takes us all the way through December 21st or December 23rd of 2012, right. according to which point of, of view you're following, because a lot of people, uh, uh, historians and archaeologists, they, they have two potential dates for the beginning of this cycle. One is August 11, and the other one is August the 13th of 3113 BC, and whatever you pick is whatever you're going to get the end, which is December 21st uh, of 2012, of December 23rd, 2012. Uh, and that, that calendar is just one, one uh, it's, it's called the long count because, you know, it's based on, on, on the five units of time of the Mayans. And, uh, and the third most important calendar is the Solkin, you know, the, the, the sacred calendar which is made of, of, of 13 months of, of 20 days. So, no, the Mayans, they didn't follow uh, any calendar of 10 months. So I don't know from where uh, your listener was coming with the idea of that the Mayans were following months of, of, of 10 days. And, and there was a second point to that, and, and, and kind of about man not knowing the end times, quoting something out of a biblical text talking about man not knowing the end time. And, and there are some people that, that have interpreted December 21st, 2012 to be the end of time as we know it, or the marking of a great cataclysm that will just destroy the earth. Talk to, talk to that thought right now, because I, I've heard a lot about this, and... It seems to have people on edge, that people feel something is wrong. They're not really sure what it is. And then when they hear about a doomsday on December 21st, they go, oh, that's why, because the world's going to end. That's all it is. The world's going to end. And then they start freaking out. So talk to that thought. Well, first of all, you know, I think that every day for somebody that to die, if somebody, you know, die today, Today is the end of the world for that person, you know. So every day is the end day for somebody in this world. So, 
and my and my second thought on this is that for us a december twenty first or december twenty third twenty twelve is not the end of the world it it, it marks the the end of a fifty two hundred year cycle you know i was I was talking before about the five units of time by the long count calendar when when you understand this you you understand what what you know what is going to happen on December 2012. You know the Mayans, they they were using, uh, of course, more than five units of time. But the most important five units, they allow them to use these units of time to track uh, many many larger cycles. So the lowest unit was called kin, k i n, and one kin equals one day. The second unit was called the winal, W-I-N-A-L, winal. And one winal was made of 20 days. And the next unit was called the tun, T-U-N. And one tun equals 360 days. Then the fourth unit was called the katun, K-A-T-U-N. And one katun is 20 times 360, which is 7,200 day period. And then the next unit and the fifth unit is called the Baktun, Beans of Boy, A-K-T-U-N. And one Baktun equals 20 times one Katun. It means 20 times 7,200 days, which is 144,000 days. So, what is going to happen, what, what happened, well, let me go back a little bit. What happened on August 11, 3113 B.C. was the day was one king, only one day. The, the, the new day on another 13 Baktun cycle. So when we reach December 21st, 2012, we're going to complete... 13 Baktun cycles of 144,000 days. So since August 11, 3113 to December 21st, 2012 is the completion of the total of 1,872,000 day period. You know, and, and that's what it means, is the completion of one solar age cycle in the Mayan creation concept of, of, of time or, 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 or the great cycle, what a lot of people call, is never for the Mayans, they never, they never uh, mention that this time period will be marked the end of the world as we know it. It, it is not. You know? So I will, I will tell people, please, do not cancel your appointment for December 22nd because, <laughs> you know, it's not the end of the world. For us, it's just the end of a 5,200-year cycle. So if, if we're, we shouldn't cancel our appointments the following day, there, there might be a lot of hungover people at least, um, <laughs> whether they cancel because of that or anything worse. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing there will be quite a few hangovers the next day. But um, if you're saying it's kind of like any other day, is it significant in the Mayan culture that you've gone through? The, the name is Baktun, correct? The 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 fifth yes. longest count. So so if if you've completed that final cycle, it's not final, but it's the largest unit of measurement. Let me let me rephrase that. The largest unit of measurement yeah. there. Is that significant? Is that worth the Mayans throwing a party for? Would they have thought that this was worth celebrating, or would it literally be like another day, just like the day before? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a time to, cele to celebrate because I don't think, Brian, we're going to be here around uh, to, to see another completion of, of a 13 back to cycles of time, you know. Uh, uh, we, uh, I don't see that we'll be here in another 50 to 100 years. So uh, it's, it's a big celebration, just like, a, just like when people go on December 31st, every year to in, in New York and, and they and, and they party all night and they're waiting for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, happy new year. Well, for us 
December 21st, we're waiting for this event because is is the last day of the 13 back to cycles, you know, and and and, and, he's, and of course we are happy to be around and to celebrate this uh, this huge celebration and 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 comes, you know, very precisely on on the first day of of, of the winter. So, uh, well, for the northern hemisphere and for the southern hemisphere, the first day of summer. So, uh, you know. That's what is important, you know, is the celebration of of uh, of this 5,200 year cycle. But but of course, you know, it's not it's not the end, and 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 of course that we need to be happy to be around to to see this this coming to to its completion. But that's what it is. It's just the completion of a 5,200 year cycle. That's what it makes uh, uh, so important for for the Mayans. We're talking with Dr. Jose Jaramillo. Dr. Jose, there's a few things I want to get into. We're up against another break here. Um, I, I kind of want to draw a parallel between the, the, the title of your work called The Alignment Within, referring to the galactic alignment, because you also hear this thing that, oh, December 21st, 2012, that's when uh, you know things align astrologically so that we're at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, whatever that might actually mean. Um, we actually had a conversation one time, and someone turned around at the bar. He's like, there's no such thing. You're always at the center of something, and I would know. I'm an astronomer. And it was just one of, the, one of these laughable moments. It was kind of goofy, but I want to address that, and I also want to pick up on something you and I talked about several months ago. You mentioned something um, about there's a reason why there are so many people on the Earth at this time, that there's a reason there's, that humanity is such a, has populated the globe to such numbers right now, almost like there are a lot of souls that want to be here for something. And I, I've i been thinking about that for a few months, and I kind of want to get you to elaborate on that when we come back. So we're going to talk some more with Dr. Jose Jaramillo on the other side. If you are watching this after the fact on YouTube, please click the little subscribe button. And if you're not following us on Twitter, we are at American underscore media underscore. We want to thank our sponsor for this segment. It is Three Black Cats. That's the number three black cats studio. You can search for them on Facebook at the number three. Three Black Cats Studio, and they have a whole bunch of organic supplies, different lip balms, different lotions, different ointments, and then they have really cool ch fake tribal earrings and hair accessories, and it's just really cool stuff. Take a look around. They're a sponsor for the show, and they're helping us bring it today. So we're going to take a brief station identification break here on the NewAmericanMedia.com, and we'll be right back with Dr. Jose Jaramillo talking about the Mayan culture and 2012. You are listening to the Agree to Disagree program on the NewAmericanMedia.com. You are watching the New American Media 